Hi, hello everyone. So I am with the beautiful Dana. She's my, <laughs> she's my, she's she was my housemaid while, while I'm here, I um, mean she's taking good care of me. She uh, she she cooks great great meals, so I appreciate her. So I'm gonna interview her today, um, in terms of what she thinks about um, working in Jamaica, um, about what her goals is, you know, as a Jamaican, um, what she would like to see in Jamaica in the future of Jamaica. I'm um, also what she thinks about Africa and uh, you know those of you guys live in Africa so so um, please explain to explain to us what what how you feel about you know the, the the violence in Jamaica about what you would like to see in Jamaica and what your goal is as a Jamaican person well in um, in Jamaica here the violence are very very bad crime and violence are very very bad every day every day what I would like to say and want Jamaica to be is to stop the violence well what do you what do you think is causing uh, the violence yes the um, the violence most um, most of the young boys right some of them have education some do not but I think is job most job, of the no day, job, job right, no right, job right 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 so if they could do you call it now some um some, center right some okay center for the young youth maybe after school have, programs or maybe some kind of work trade work to get some yeah, money right, yeah right. some some don't have any education so if they could get um you can call it evenings um class right right for them to go you have um um trade like mm -hmm. they could um we call it trade, like, trade no, work trade, yeah, yeah. Like, like carpentry or those kind of things right yeah a lot of things yeah mechanics yeah, yeah right. for them to go not most of them they do wash car right but washing the car of washing the car i know they are still of course it's not it's not yeah, gonna bring anything not, in right? No, right just a little bit and to mouth right so and and for the violence too i think abusing Abusing with um, men right. and women, women and men, right. need to more. I think the the governments then need to put out more in the community. Right. More, you they call it more police and right. for them to because sometimes when you do go and report a man and a woman cussing the man say, you mean "I'm going to kill violence. domestic you violence." Know, right, right. Yeah. I would want to um, more of that day to move faster to right. that car because if I went go to the station and I say like my boyfriend threatened me right. say he's gonna kill me they right. don't move as fast oh, okay. until when I die oh and something bad happens like they don't, they don't take things like that seriously okay, okay. yeah I see I see no I was listening to you I was trying to evaluate what you were saying yeah right. well um for Jamaica, Jamaica is very nice. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, Jamaica is very nice because if Jamaica is wasn't a good place, you have a lot of tourists, people all over the right. world travel and come to Jamaica. Right. But it's just the violence right. and you have a lot of thief right. going on, which I say before, if they could get um, um things for the the younger youth, boys and girls, to right. keep them active. I think Jamaica would be a better place. Right, right. So, so what is what is what are some of your your current? What is some of your ambition for the future? What would you like for yourself as a Jamaican? Oh well, my ambition are to achieve my goal. I know I work hard. Right. I have to work harder, harder right. to but better and better and a better job. Right. Because. Sometimes you work for somebody, right. the little money that you get is just, no, just for right. an right. Hardly can pay. Well, what I, I'm saying, I work, I work and I spend more than I earn. Mm, I see, right, right. So to achieve my goal, I would need a better job. Sometimes you work, you don't get, they don't not even want to pay you. Right. Either. Most of the big people, them who, who apply you to work sometimes you work then don't want to give you 
the money you, you pay and sometimes sometimes you just walk away vex that's that's an i think that's what is causing more of the violence Balance, in Jamaica right, exactly, too, exactly. because you work and they don't want to pay you pay, so you right. get anger and your frustration and, yeah. and also i was talking to somebody who talks about how that frustration leads to people doing drugs smoking more marijuana and doing other things too big that is net that is not good for them because one they don't have work or even if they have work they don't make enough money, money. so they get frustrated they get angry and it leads them to do domestic even domestic violence, violence too right. as well because when people are frustrated they take out the anger on their girlfriend on their wife right. and sometimes on their children yeah so yeah and and for the woman in jamaica what i want for them is to for instance you get one um child what? you cannot um afford to mind that child and you go back again and you get another one you right. still can't afford to mind that child they grow up they you don't have anything to feed them while they're growing up not going to school so those child turn out to be thief and get bad because right. they want something and they cannot and get, get it, it right. so they go out and end up start stealing people right. things right so if you the woman can afford just one child don't come back and talk anymore. Right, right, right. right. And like everything that you're saying is the same thing in Nigeria. It is the same thing in America. It's the same thing like every African person around the world faces this same issue, similar issue. And the problem is that they don't know how all these things connect. When people don't have work, it, 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 it reflects on how they treat each other. It reflects on violence. It reflects on, you know, how they treat each other in the house, how the man treats the woman, how the woman treats the children, those kind of things. Um, so I would like to get, you, uh, this is the last question, so I'll let you go. I'd like to get what is your take on Africa itself or, or what is your perspective on Africa, on African people? Because, uh, again, we're talking to a lot of our African people around the world um, and they always want to know what, is that what would a typical Jamaica think when they think of Africa? Well, I would say about I don't know much about Africa. It's right. just watching over the TV, the TV right. when I see a lot of children right. suffering. Not right. only children, big man and woman right. suffering. Right. It's almost, as what I say, is the same thing. You, you get one child. You cannot, you cannot afford to maintain the first one and then you go back again right, and get right. another. Right. It's just like the same thing with violence and... And corruption and, and, and poverty. The, right. So, so basically, uh, in regards to Africa, you, you don't, like, they don't, that's, that is what they really show when it comes to Africa. Because, you know, me from an African, you know, coming from the continent and being in different areas, like in Jamaica, you they have some yes, those kind of places, but in majority of Africa also they have very beautiful, wealthy, beautiful places. Not just wealth in terms of money, but also wealth not just with money, but luxury, beautiful, but they don't they don't show that part. No, that most are well, most of that part that I see is like the show. The, the show, African the show, show. Okay. Yeah, so that, so, show. so that's on the time you see, you see those. Yeah, things. I see. But yeah. just of in the general, but like the news, the like news, the okay. news are the CNN. Right. Like I will see like that part. Yeah, sometimes you will you will see like you will say a big city in Africa. Right. You understand? Right. But those are like I will say that the people are who earn. Well, I see. I see. Earn, you live there. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, so yeah. like, so you, just like in Jamaica, right. you have the big city, and right. then you have the people who who are suffering yeah. in the poor. Okay, I see. I see. So that is definitely justifiable. Um, and uh, I was, you know, like I always express to my people on the road that, you know, as African people in Jamaica or anywhere else in the world, it's not natural to be in poverty, and and our, it's not natural to to not be able to go on vacation. It's not natural for our children to suffer. We are meant to live in wealth, and you know sometimes when you live in poverty, it messes with your mind. It doesn't make you. It, it takes away your humanity because when somebody in poverty, they 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 act out. They act in frustration. So it's our duty to solve our our problems, and this is one reason why I do this type of video. So we can understand that all our problems is not separated. We have the same problem anywhere we go in the world. So I think I appreciate you, Donna, for doing this video for us. So you can <laughs> yeah. So thank you so much. It's amazing, and uh, 